don't understand how much math and specifically geometry govern their everyday lives. No, it starts from the very beginning. Right when we come out of the womb, we want to know where things are, what they look like, and how to get from one place to another. And that's all geometry. That's the topic of a new book, Shape, the Hidden Geometry of Information, Biology, Strategy, Democracy, and Everything Else. <laughs> it's author E.W. Madison, mathematics professor Jordan Ellenberg joins us once Hi, again. Jordan. Good to see you Good again. Good to see you. Nice to have you in person on the patio. I know, right? It's lovely out here. We're we're getting should getting always, there. We should always do it out here. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. So let's talk about geometry. Why do we study this? You, you know, well, you're in high school. I'll never use this. I know there's so many reasons and so many people coming away thinking it's just about triangles. Why? Right. And <laughs> look, there are some triangles in this book. I don't want to disappoint people. I put some triangles in, but it's so much more than that. Uh, just like you said, every time we talk about things being near or far from each other, even if it's just a metaphor, that's like geometric thinking um, and it applies to pandemics in the book it applies to the way we draw our assembly districts here in Wisconsin there's a lot about that it applies to artificial intelligence which is on everybody's lips right thinking about how it actually works what's in the guts of those systems I write a lot about that too and it's all geometry under the hood so the book is full of stories about how geometry influences so many things in our life tell us like, some of the specific stories like that you would never think oh that has anything to do oh, with gerrymandering geometry. Yeah, and that's a perfect example because I think a lot of people think it has to do with the districts looking funny, having these like crazy shapes like two octopuses making friends or something like that. <laughs> but, you know, in reality, uh, you can now with computers make districts that are very gerrymandered, but they look fine. You can't see it by the naked eye. So it's kind of a higher and more abstract geometry. This is a little mind bending, but it's the geometry of the space of all the possible ways you can cut up the state of Wisconsin into districts, which let me tell you is a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. And so the geometry is like pretty complex but I lay it all out in the book Wow! and, and Abraham Lincoln the former president was into geometry <laughs> he was this is something I learned while writing I mean one of the fun things about writing a book like this is you learn so much stuff so Abraham Lincoln uh, you know when he was a lawyer before he was president he's like well I'm always called into court to prove stuff what does that even mean? Wait a minute. I don't know what it means when they're asking me to prove something. So he went back and read all six books of Euclid to understand what is a proof. Wow, that's fascinating. Yeah. So what inspired you to write this book? You've been teaching math at the UW for, what, 15 years, 16 absolutely, years? Absolutely, absolutely. Where did you come up with this idea? Well, you know, it's I consider it part of my teaching in a way. You know, it's the same kind of thing I do in the classroom, telling stories about mathematics. Um, and, I, you know, I found that I write a lot of articles in the newspaper and magazines and stuff like that about mathematical lens on everyday life and I started to see this common thread this kind of geometric aspect to all these things we're thinking about um, whether it be our legislative districts whether it be AI whether it be American history or you know I didn't expect to write a lot about pandemics but around last year when I was writing this I suddenly got really interested in that topic like a lot of people did and that too the spread of a pandemic is a very geometric process so I was learning about that and writing about it in real time so how, how could you change how we reacted to the pandemic looking at the geometry of it. I think that's a great question, and I think one thing that it took people some time to grasp is just how heterogeneous it was. You know, you look at the numbers for the whole country at once, and you're missing some of the geometry of things playing out really differently uh, in one state versus, versus another, or within one state in one region versus another. That's like a rather delicate thing that involves thinking of the geometry of the whole system, and I think it took some time for people to really grasp that. Well, when I took geometry, I struggled through it mercilessly in high school. <laughs> But I think if I had seen it from this perspective, it might have been a little less intimidating. Do you think, I mean, it, it, it would, it'll make people more appreciative of, of math and not so scared of it? I hope so, and that's what I'm always trying to do when I write. You know, there's so many different ways to teach math, and there's so many different ways to share these ideas. And the way we do it in class, it definitely it works for some kids and it doesn't work for others. But I truly believe that every kid, and for that matter, every adult, thinks mathematically and is mathematical. It's just a question of what's going to resonate with you, what's going to work for you. So I hope this works for some people. Even if you struggle in math, will, you, will this book resonate, do you think? Oh, I think so, because it's all stories. It's, all, it's stories of the people who made this mathematics. You know, one thing I say all the time, math is made of people. It's not an abstract thing out in space. Exactly. Yeah. It's people who had problems they wanted to solve, and that's why they created this stuff, and they're in the book. You know, because of geometry, I'm doing this job today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. If, if you'd have taught it that way in high school, I think well, that's what I mean. Oh, yeah. 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 The book is available online everywhere you buy books. Hold up exactly. The book, it's, Vanna. On, it's on sale today. Today's, Today's the first day. Oh, well, congratulations. congratulations. I can't wait it's to read exciting. it. It's pretty exciting. It's an exciting day. After many, a couple years of writing it, today is the day. Jordan, thanks for being with us. Great today. to see you. And have you a great so semester much. next semester. Awesome. When things get back I'll be to normal. Back in the classroom. I'm excited. Great to see you. Thanks again. Yeah, thank you.